Well, good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year. We begin tonight with an amazing story of survival. A young woman takes a plunge right off a cliff in the North Ogden Divide. News specialist Garna Mejia brings us this exclusive story and now joins us live in Garna. She's very lucky to be alive. Yeah, good evening, Dan, and that's exactly what she and her family are saying. The 19-year-old walked away without a scratch thanks to some quick thinking and what she says saved her life. The North Ogden Divide, it's a scenic canyon road. But with its steep drop-offs, it turns scary in the winter, especially at night. Every parent around here is nervous when their kid is driving the divide. And for good reason, as 19-year-old Hannah Williams experienced firsthand on Wednesday night. I, I was heading home. I was driving the speed limit. That's when tragedy struck. And as I look up, I see the mound of snow, and I knew immediately that I was just going to hit it, and I knew I was going to fall off that cliff, so... Hannah braced herself. And I remember hitting uh, the side really hard. I remember the sound of it and everything, and I remember my head just going super fuzzy and got super heavy. And she lost consciousness as a car tumbled the equivalent of two football fields. At that point, I was like, um, this is what it's like to die. I'm going to die. But I wasn't really scared. Hannah clung to her faith. I prayed and I was just like, please let my family know I love them. When the car finally came to a stop, she regained consciousness and jumped to action using Siri to call 911. We just had a female kept saying hello over and over again and crying. Hannah couldn't hear the operator, but they tracked her using her GPS coordinates. We are sending help to you. Her car was off. It wasn't, the headlights weren't still on or anything, so they couldn't see her in the ravine. Hannah climbed towards the road until she spotted a flashlight. I've been advised I can hear a female screaming. Seeing what's left of her car, Hannah doubts she would have survived without one seemingly minor thing. If I did not have that seatbelt on, I wouldn't be here. And now, Hannah shared with us that she was driving about 30 miles per hour, which was likely a big factor in her survival. Her family also sent their thanks to all of the first responders who did everything to find her. Dan? Wow, that's just amazing that she managed to survive and walk away from that. Garner, thankful for the, that she was okay. Thanks, Garner.